Hey, I'm Petros. I'm product manager here. Welcome to Blue Goji Labs. I'm going to help walk you through Go Bikes. Yeah, so I love Go Bikes. It's a very fun game because if you get to actually race with friends in multiplayer mode or against robots if you play in the single player mode. And the cool thing about it is as you're going throughout the map, there are hills that go up and down and you have to adjust the resistance kind of like you would on a real bike and it makes it harder or easier based on that. It's a fun ride, you feel so happy, but then you get a great workout, it's super fun. Go bikes will definitely get your heart rate up and get you sweating, but it's more than just a race. It's about strategy. When you're setting up your game, you'll see the ability to turn on items and bots. So what are those? So there are nine items in Go Bikes. As you go through the course, you see these boxes with question marks on them. Ride through a mystery box and an advantage item will populate on your dashboard. Store your items and strategize the best time to use them to get ahead in the race. To deploy an item, press A on an upright bike or the green button on the recumbent bike. As you're playing in multiplayer, you might not be the fastest, but are you the smartest? How will you use your items to throw off other riders? So a couple of the items that I'll talk about today are the inky box, which when you use it, it actually splashes ink all across the screen. And so your opponent's view is obstructed and they can't see where they're going. Another really cool one is the oil spill. You activate the oil spill and it'll spill oil behind you and all the opponents slide off course, getting them off track and, and giving you an advantage. Bots are computer controlled opponents to race against. Virtual opponents make the race more competitive even when you're playing alone. Bots will use items against you and give you the opportunity to work on your item launching skills. If you prefer a more relaxed ride, don't feel the pressure to turn on the bot switch. Now let's walk through your dashboard. Pause the game if you need a reminder of your remote control function. Get stuck? Reset your bike by pushing the arrow on the left. Change your vantage point by pressing the I. To keep an eye on the competition behind you, look out your rear view mirror. Just like on a real bike, when you're going up that hill, lower the resistance to make it easier to go up the hill. Also, if you see a ramp, you're going to want to take it. Catching air helps your boost meter go up, and it's going to be very beneficial as you're riding to give you a speed boost. Yeah, a really cool thing about Go Bikes is you could actually customize your avatar, which really allows you to represent yourself. If you want to be funky and cool and have crazy colors in your outfits, you could do that. Because the more you ride, the more customization you can unlock. In multiplayer mode, you can actually ride with eight other riders. So you can practice under the pressure so you can prepare yourself for Goji games. When you select a course to ride, you can actually see the leaderboards to your left. I really like the island because I love riding on the beach. For Goji games, if your location has more than one bike, you're definitely going to want to practice in multiplayer mode. It'll give you a real edge. Thanks for tuning in today to learn more about Goji Play Games. It was really awesome having you. Have any questions about Go Bikes? Drop those in the comment section. And as always, like and subscribe.